What's your dream workshop look like? Is it big or small? Full of high-end tools or just what you need to do what you love to do? I can't decide. So we're taking two garages and turning them into two very different workshops. One will be full of the best tools we can get our hands on. The other full of homemade woodworking machines. And we'll be filming the whole process so you can learn some useful ideas no matter what kind of workshop you have. I'm Stumpy Nubs and this is my workshop blog. Today we're working on the main workshop. It's a mess right now. We have these nice 10 foot high ceilings which are great for storing stuff up high. But I want to build a loft on the east side and that means tearing some stuff down. I want to do it in an organized manner because we have to use the shop while we're doing the remodel. So I'm boxing up everything I can. Power tools that can go into storage are and other things that will need to be used I'm going to move over to the other side of the shop. So we're working on just one side of the shop at a time. We have this giant workbench on the east side. I never liked the thing. It's got these two shelves built in. They're kind of like lofts, but they're not big enough for what I want. So I'm going to have to tear them all apart. This is why we use drywall screws with square drive heads in all of our shop projects like this. Because you can take them in and out a bunch of times and they don't strip out. Some of these screws have been reused in different benches for a long time and look at this, they're still zipping right out. Seems like it wasn't that long ago I was building this thing, which was a ton of work kills me to tear it apart. But that's the way things go around here. I build something, it works, and then I change my mind, tear it apart, and build something else. I'm never satisfied with one idea. I want to come up with new ideas, better ideas, and just try different things out. I guess that's kind of why I consider this a test workshop. I lost track of how many times I've torn apart the dust collection system. Well, this metal stuff is going. I never liked it anyway. It's too leaky. I'm going with PVC on the new shop. There are already storage lofts on the south and west side of the shop, and they are full of wood. You would think that it would just tear the whole building down with all this weight, but you'd be surprised how much these can hold. On the east side, I am going to try something a little different. I'm going to make one beam that runs from end to end on the shop. To do that, I'm laminating together layers of 2x4s. And when you got legs that look this nice, you show them off. Of course, I realize that four layers doesn't strengthen it as much as it makes it heavier, so I took one layer off. Made it a lot easier to lift into place, too. It is sagging a little in the center, so I'm going to attach it at two points to the ceiling. There's a cross piece every four feet, and I'm using joist hangers from the big box stores. These are really strong. That's it for the east loft. May not look like much, but wait till you see it full of stuff. Lots more to do on this side of the shop. We'll get to that next time. 